What's going on YouTube? I made a video last night and for some reason YouTube is giving me issues. I got it uploaded but it's not letting me publish it so I have to redo it which is kind of a bummer but uh, anyways this is a, a trade box from Andrew Jeremko. So we have this Holden from Matchbox. Very nice detail in that dollar car. He also sent Godzilla, the new GTR. Very cool car. A little bummed out about that, but it is what it is. And then my personal favorite, this one here, which I actually found two more of these today. I love this casting. It is so nice. Very nicely done Hot Wheels. All right, let's get to the the gooder gooder stuff here. <clears throat> so this guy Andrew Jeremko has been the number one contributor to my Oddball Toyota collection, and. That continued with this box, with this Toyota RSC. I believe this is a concept, but it is a licensed model. So, pretty cool. Definitely makes the grade for the Oddball Toyota collection. He also sent this Toyota Supra, which I believe is either a Maisto or maybe a Motormax. I don't know. It doesn't say... But these loose cars, you know, they're not mint. But for my oddball, for my premium detailed Toyota collection, being mint is a requirement. But for the oddball Toyota collection, it is not. This one is a Maisto. This is awesome. This little Toyota Celica. Very cool. And then my personal favorite. <clears throat> I didn't even know that there was one of these that existed. But check out this Toyota Sequoia. How rad is that? Very good uh, likelihood that my next car will be a Sequoia. Just because they're easier to find and much less expensive than the Land Cruiser. Now... I know they're not nearly as good, but, you know, good enough. They'll still work. Okay, he also sent me some other oddball stuff like this Matchbox AMG Mercedes. This thing is heavy, metal on metal. <clears throat> Opening doors, really cool. He sent me this Hot Wheels Mercedes. You guys ever seen this casting? Have you ever seen these wheels from Hot Wheels? Uh, I didn't know that either existed, but there you go. I don't think this was a, a U.S. market release. Cool car, though. <clears throat> he sent this. This is a Corgi Jr. Whiz Wheels Ogle Reliant. I would say probably from the 70s. Very cool car. This one is metal on metal. Corgi Jr. Then he sent this. This is a Matchbox Super Fast BMW. And then last, and probably my favorite of all those vintage cars, is this Matchbox Superfast Mercedes 350 SL. And this thing is in really good, really good condition. This thing rolls so good. This thing would fly down a track. 
Really cool car. Okay, so that was all REOK -okay stuff, extras. <clears throat> there were a couple other extras, but I'm going to show you the trade first. So the first part of the trade is this GMC Vandura from Greenlight. This is a, a casting I've been wanting. Um, it's actually my favorite Vandura that they've done. I love the deco on it. It looks really, really good. Plus, this light-colored interior. The interior detail on this thing is actually really nice. So that's pretty awesome. And then here's the main part of the trade. Um, well, before I show that, I'll just say we made a trade, and then he was uh, he he was taking a while to ship, but he was. You know he was keeping me updated on it like hey you know here's the deal you know it's going to be a little while and then at, at a certain point he's like you know what um i'm just gonna get you another car for to you know to make up for the delay he's like i'll get you this car or this car which one do you want and then this is the one that i chose so this was an extra it's a tarmac works Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Evolution X or Evolution 10. And this thing is awesome. There's some pretty incredible detail on this Tarmac Works car. Looks pretty amazing. And because of the nature of the way that these cars are put together, they are essentially static displays. This one rolls a little bit. Uh, there's something up with the base on it that is causing that wobble. Usually it's the road being uneven, but in this case it's not. So I might uh, just unscrew the base just to see if I can adjust it or fix it but really cool car <clears throat> if you're into uh, the premium detailed stuff definitely worth getting but here's the car so it's for the Vandura and this and I've already I've already wheel swapped this because this car came with a, an extra set of wheels um, it's an NO64. These are the wheels that were on the car when I got it. And these are the wheels that I put on the car. So, like I said, it's a static display. Uh, there's no... There's just no... Uh, space for the wheels to articulate they are just locked into place but man that thing looks so good look at these lens tail lights Yeah, this car is on point. Uh, check out the seats in this thing. Five point harness. Got the VTEC dual overhead cam. All right, so NO64, my first NO64 purchase was the EF9 hatchback, which is a nice little casting. Um, there's something a little bit off about the stance with the rear axle, 
But other than that, it's pretty nice. Uh, the detail's great. But when Tomica Limited Vintage does this car the next year, or later in 2019, I'm sure it will surpass the NO64. This one does roll, though. So of the three uh, NO64 cars that I have, <clears throat> this is the only one that rolls. I put some of the decals on this one. I will not be doing that with this. I actually regret doing it with this one, so I'm not going to do it with that one. But I did the wheel swap because I like the white wheels better. And then here is the other NO64, <clears throat> the Type R. <coughs> this one is also a static display. It just They just don't roll. But I'm okay with that to get a really nice stance. I think it's okay. You know, I don't play with them anyways. The big issue with this one is this passenger, this would be the driver's side, this A-pillar is bent, which you can't see that with the naked eye. So it's not that big of a deal, but when shown on camera, it's an eyesore. So those are my Honda Civics. And then of course I have the uh, Kyosho. This is just a stock model. Uh, no no uh, altercations or customizations to this. Awesome little model though. Lens headlights and taillights, prototypical wheels. Which, by the way, these are prototypical wheels as well on these uh, three models. And then lastly is I have this Tomica Limited Vintage Type R. Uh, I believe this is a EK9. So we have the EF9 hatch, the EG9. Uh, I forgot what that one is. I think this is the EK9. But some white Honda Civics, all premium detail. And then to complete the uh, story of the trade, um, so he sends me the Evo because of the delay. And when I got the box, there was a car that was wrapped. And he said, please open on camera. And so I did. I opened it in the original video. But um, my I don't know what's going on. I, I uploaded the video and it just it's not letting me publish it. it. It pulls up a red bar with an explanation point. It doesn't give any kind of explanation. So here I am redoing it and I'm going to retry it. But this car was sent as an extra. Now keep in mind, he already sent the Evo as an extra. So what is that? A $25 extra. And then, so the the car that's wrapped up, it, it feels like a green light. That's the type of packaging that it felt like. So I open it up. And uh, where's the box? Where's the box? Oh, here we go. I open it up and this is what I see here. Mini GT McLaren Senna. True Scale Miniatures Limited, Hong Kong, China. So, I wonder if these are true scale. Anyways, you guys got to see this car. This car is sick. So, here is the McLaren. It is a beautiful casting. It's a heavy casting. It's metal body, metal base, rubber tires with tread. It has lensed headlights, which are kind of hard to see because they're kind of tucked in there. Then the indicators down below, you can see, are painted. Prototypical wheels here. 
which look fantastic. Side view mirrors, which are part of the casting, so you don't have to worry about knocking it off like you do with the Kyosho. Uh, there are no taillights. I, I would imagine on the real car that they're just um, like hidden. But anyways, this car is sick. And by the way, you guys, Mini GT just signed with Koenigsegg. So there's going to be a one-to-one -one coming out. I can't wait to get that. That's going to be an expensive car. There's only ever been one other Koenigsegg done in 164 scale, and that's the Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment. And it's about a $100 car. So I would say when that Koenigsegg comes out, make sure you get it before that price skyrockets, which it will. And anyway, so yeah, so Andrew Jeremko, um, I, I'm just blown away by the generosity. He's been a huge supporter of the channel. He has sponsored uh, one of the layouts that I did. He's contributed more to my Oddball Toyota collection than anybody else. And there's a handful of you guys that have been super supportive of the channel. I know early on Slayer Nays, at the time known as Cambodian Holiday. Um, shout out to you. Uh, shout out to Champion DJK, Lamar Fashion, uh, Poochman, Collecting for Ben, Chris Lewis, and there's a couple others that I'm that I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but all you guys that have supported the channel, but Andrew Jeremko has gone above and beyond with just his generosity and his contributions to my collection. So I'm gonna have to find something, whether it's out of my personal collection or maybe at one of my trips over to the Toy Pimps, I'll have to find something nice and send it your way. I'm sorry, I can't send you the LFA. That's like one of my prized castings, but I will find something nice for you. And uh, that's about it. So I, uh, real quick to wrap up the video, I went today to uh, Fry's, which is basically just Kroger's. And I found a couple of unmolested boxes of Matchbox. So let's see what we got here. Oh, almost dropped it. All right, so here's the recolor on the Dotson Jr. pickup. I actually think I like this one better. I don't know. I like both. Maybe it's the wheels on this one that I like better. Really cool truck. Cool casting. So there's that. I found the 61 Ford Ranchero. I got multiples of all of these. Ah. This one is cool, man. I don't know if this is a new tooling or not. I've never seen this. Never seen this Matchbox car. I don't think it's new, but it's very nice. Very nicely done. I love Matchbox licensed models. Oh, look at that. Tail lights. Why is my camera not focusing? Really nice tail light detail. You get tail lights on the Datsun pickup, too. And headlights. I don't think you get headlights on the Ranchero. Nope. Okay, what else did I get? Uh, this one. 63 Austin Healy.
Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. I'm trying to open these one-handed. Yeah, that that is really cool. That is way cool. I love that casting. Look, it even smiles at you. Great headlight and taillight detail. That is cool. All right, and then the last one, and the one I was most excited about, because I didn't think I'd find this one, I ended up buying three of these. The 69 BMW 2002. Let's see what this thing looks like. Wow, this one is taped. Now, once again, I apologize for the shaky camera. Oh, this one came right out of the plastic. Yep, that is a great casting. There's something about this casting right off the bat that I've noticed that I really like. And that is the fact that they took... First of all, look at the detail. God, what is with my camera today? Not focusing. Look at the taillight detail. Looks like it might have missed some red. I'm going to, I don't know, I might dab some red on that. But I love how the grill is all part of the casting. It's not part of the base like it is on this. Or the Ranchero. Because it just makes it look so cheap. But when it's part of the body like this, it's just better. More metal is always better. That is a cool little car. I like that better than the 510. They should have left all that stuff off the top of the 510 though. So anyways, that's uh, that's it. Uh, some cool colors in that assortment. All right, so Andrew Jeremko, thank you again. Um, I still can't believe the extras. You know, I know you told me that the Lancer was coming, but to throw this in is just, I mean, you definitely didn't have to do that. So I will send some return fire As far as the buildings goes, I don't have an update at this time, but I'm going to be making a layout, actually two layouts. They're not going to be big layouts like this. They're just probably going to be just about a fourth of the size of this one. But uh, I think they're going to look cool. I've got them all. They're going to be twin layouts. They're going to be pretty close to the same. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, but if you guys want to make a very inexpensive building, these buildings cost me between three and four dollars a piece to make. So, and uh, you know, they're not done, there's a lot more that can be added to these buildings. But I'm just saying, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of money. To get a decent result. I'm trying to find the awning. I have an awning. And I can't find it. I don't know where it went. Where did it go? I wonder if it's between. Oh yeah. There it is. I need to make another one. But yeah, we have this little awning. Put that there. 
and you can add any kinds of little details that uh, that you like but I think that layout's gonna look really good when I'm done it'll be good for pictures and videos all right everyone thank you I will talk to you all hopefully soon but if I don't have a safe and happy New Year's.